The governor of the river state, Nyesum Wike, has called on some eminent Nigerians he described as true nationalists who believe in the indivisibility of Nigeria to rise to rescue the country from disintegration. The governor made the call when he hosted members of the South-South Zonal Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party at the government house, Port Hackett. The report is presented from our studios. Typical of Governor Wiki, it is yet another opportunity to throw some tantrums at the ruling or progressive Congress federal government, whom he said has not only lost capacity to solve the protracted insecurity problem, but do not have the empathy for Nigerians. The government has said there's no propaganda that can solve the problem, no, no amount of propaganda. The government, uh, APC governors have come on to say, uh, the, the present government of APC will solve security problems. When will they solve? Every day I will solve. Every day I will solve. People are dying every day, every day I will solve. Oh no. And say, look, Nigerians will have failed you. The promises we made to you will have failed you. And honorably. The governor cited recent emotional outbursts by Senator Smart Adeyemi, who was crying on the floor of the National Assembly over the spate of insecurity in the country. He said that instead of crying, the lawmaker and his colleagues should take the necessary action to arrest the situation. The other day I was watching Adeyemi Smart in the, in the upper chamber. He said, look, yes, he's a member of APC. Yes, he supports APC. But this time around, I'm not talking about the APC. I'm talking about the lives of Nigerians. They cannot continue to fold their hands and see Nigerians uh, die. He's not crying, but that is not a place to cry. Take action. Let us know that you are serious. If it is to go and cry, there are so many people that would have warned them. So many people are professional uh, criers. <laughs> PDP National Vice Chairman South South Dan Obi said there is need for governors and people in the South South to come together to chart a roadmap to have the people of the region protected from the current insecurity attack facing the country, such as bandit has men. In the South South today, most of our people can no longer go to farms. And if her people cannot assess their farms, it's a clear signal of the impending food crisis we are going to face in this nation. And we think it is time for us to wake up and do what we need to do to protect our people. The governor who congratulated the delegation for emerging as new executive members of PDP's South-South Zone said no other geopolitical zone in the country is dominated by a single party except the South-South. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.